Welcome to TradePro. This is the release and tutorial video for the two newest TradePro trading strategy scripts. I'm gonna cover the strategies they're using and go through all the different customizable settings that these strategy scripts have. These are available on my Patreon page along with 18 other strategy scripts. As you can see, I'm scrolling through some of the others that are available, which I do have tutorial videos for as well on my YouTube page. There's also three custom indicators available here again uh, available on my patreon page to get access to all of these on my patreon you can also learn my personal trading strategy and get weekly market report videos so let's get into these two new ones and talk about the strategies they're using and then go through all of the different customizable settings and parameters that you can set so let's start with the super trend pullback strategy here and with this one it's a very simple strategy that this is based on. Essentially, what it's looking for is the main trend direction as determined by both the super trend and an exponential moving average of your choice. You can also choose to not use an exponential moving average and purely base the trend on the super trend line. Here, with the settings I have applied, there's a 200 period exponential moving average and a super trend line where this will be entering positions when price pulls back into the super trend line and wicks through it. So in a downtrend with a red super trend and price being under the exponential moving average, it will enter a short position when price pulls back and wicks through the super trend line, as you can see happening here, here, and over here. So it's a very simple strategy. And as far as the stop loss placement and take profit target goes, that is completely customizable within the settings of this indicator or strategy script. So if we take a look into the settings here, so a bunch of different things. So let's just start up top and we'll get through each thing uh, one by one. So up top, we have the super trend setting. So you can change the actual super trend line to um, behave differently or if you don't want it to be at default settings of 10 and 3. You can also set this where it's only going to enter when the super trend changes direction in between entries. So if you turn this on, then the super trend must change the direction for a new entry. So as you can see, each of these does have a little description explaining what this setting is doing. Then we have enabling of the trend filter EMA, which I have turned on and set to a 200 period exponential moving average. You can either just turn that off or turn it on and change it to whatever moving average or exponential moving average that you would like to be filtering the main trend direction. And you can also only allow a single entry per EMA cross, so price would need to go up uh, or cross over the EMA um, in between entries if you do set this. So we can also set the type of entry, whether it be market or limit or stop entry. We can go down a bit and you have the ability to restrict the entries to a date range, certain times of day, and uh, also skip certain entries if the estimated commission is greater than the estimated profit as you have set in the settings. We can also do something a little bit silly and take reverse entries. So if you find something that is horrific where the, the results are terrible, you can try reverse entries and just see what happens. Essentially, it will just take the opposite. So if there's a long signaled, it's gonna short. If there's a short signaled, then it's gonna take a long. Um, and that may be beneficial if you find some horrible settings on some of the other scripts or this one. Now, the position exit settings here, um, very important part, so stop loss strategy. This is where you're going to set the method that the stop loss is placed. So right now, it's an ATR-based stop loss, and I have it set to be 3.5 times the ATR. So when it enters a trade, the stop loss will be placed 3.5 times the ATR value uh, away from the entry. Can also use a moving average of the ATR based stop loss, percent based stop loss, tick based, wick based, reward multiplier, or disable. So if we go down a little bit more, we have the ability for a dynamic stop loss where it either trails the stop loss or moves it to break even or into profit or reduces risk at a certain point. You can also move and trail. 
and the trailing stop loss or moving of the stop loss, the parameters for that can be set below here. So the trailing activation level, the way that it's adjusted, where it's being moved to uh, based on percent, ticks, or a risk multiplier. So a bunch of different things that you can customize in there for the stop loss and how it's going to be trailed or moved or if it's going to be moved whatsoever. Next, we have the take profit strategy. So right now it's set to a risk multiplier. So the take profit target will be placed at two times the risk. So two times the stop loss will be where that take profit target is placed based on the settings I have. Uh, and you can adjust that here along with the type of take profit target that you want to use. You can choose between the risk multiplier, ATR based, moving average of the ATR based, percent based, tick based, or you can disable it if you wish to just have a trailing uh, stop loss with no set take profit target. And all those things can be configured here. Next, uh, we have a section for a secondary take profit. So um, this actually is not going to be a two stage uh, take profit, so it won't have take profit target one and take profit target two. Um, by configuring a secondary take profit strategy, you'll have the option to override the primary take profit if it meets a specific criteria. For example, let's assume that you use an ATR based strategy with a multiplier set to three as your primary take profit. Most of the time, the take profit will be placed relatively close to the entry price. However, there'll be times when the ATR based take profit is placed too far from the the entry price. So this may happen when uh, the market is extremely volatile when you have an entry. So the take profit target being based on ATR will be extremely far away, which happens occasionally. And uh, essentially, in this case, you may want to use a percent based take profit strategy instead, just in case that that does happen. Um, so that is essentially what this is for. Next, we have the ability to close positions early if certain things happen. So um, if the super trend changes direction, if the uh, entry criteria is in the opposite direction, if the uh, price crosses a certain moving average of your choice after a certain number of minutes or after the end of the trading session. So certain ways that you can close the position other than the take profit or stop loss hitting. And then there's the ability to do a dollar cost average entry. So you can set the specifics here for how it's going to do the dollar cost average entry and the sizing on each of those, how far apart those uh, dollar cost average entries are, but you can turn that on and then set all the specifics here. And then there's the ability to activate custom order size settings. So um, whether you wanted to risk a certain percentage of overall equity, equity uh, contracts, cash, percentage of equity, or fixed risk, um, you can set that in here just to see what the back testing results would have been uh, based on the historical data. All right. So below that, just some uh, alert messages. So if you do want to set it up with some sort of automated trading uh, software, so something like three commas, uh, that's a common one. But um, the strategies, you know, these are not meant to be traded with live funds. Uh, they're not meant to be financial advice. This is for uh, entertainment and demo trading purposes only as I'm not a financial advisor. So it's not meant to be any sort of guarantee of making money and real money is not uh, recommended to be risked with any of the strategies or things I talk about on my channel in general. All right. So that covers this strategy. It's quite a simple one, just looking for pullbacks into the super trend. Next one we have is this uh, trade pro EMA cloud stochastic RSI uh, ATR strategy. So this one, uh, if we take a closer look, the entries are going to be based on pullbacks into this EMA cloud. And we'll talk about the specifics of this EMA cloud and um, what it's actually entering based on. But essentially, it's waiting for a pullback into the cloud. And at the same time, we need to see a full reset on the stochastic RSI. So this is the K line, that's what it's basing the entries on. So we see this is in the oversold territory, comes up or resets into the overbought, then comes back down into the oversold territory, right? And once that happens, we need to see price making a higher low compared to the last reset. So that was over here. This is a higher low this time compared to the last reset. 
and it's pulled back into the cloud. So those are the entry uh, conditions. So you can see it gets a pull back into the cloud and then enters on the close of that first candle that pulls back. And the stop loss and profit targets, again, will be placed based on the settings that you choose. Um, and I'll show you the settings that are, are chosen right here, but they probably you know aren't the best. There's a lot of different ways that you can go about doing it, but um, this just has some default settings on. Um, so just to show another example, you can see price pushes up again. We get another full reset on stochastic K line, comes back into the oversold resetting, and it's a higher low compared to the last time we were down here on Stochastic K. And we have oversold. Then we wait for the pullback into the cloud. We get it on this red candle. So the entry is taken upon the close of that candle. So the opening of the next candle. And that's why it makes the entry. So quite a simple strategy. Again, if we have a green cloud, it's going to look for longs. If we have a red cloud, it's going to look for shorts. And stop loss, take profit target will be placed again based on the settings that you choose in the settings department. So let's take a look at the settings of this one where this EMA cloud can be customized. It's the first part of this that right now is set to be 38 for the fast length EMA and 62 for the slow length EMA. That can be whatever you want. So the two that you choose, that's completely up to you. And then we have the stochastic RSI settings, which are defaults with the upper band and lower band being at 80 and 20. There's also the ability to require a full reset of the stochastic RSI after each entry. So if we read this, if this is enabled, the stochastic RSI crosses will be forgotten the moment the strategy enters into a position. This essentially forces the stochastic RSI to fully reset after each trade. So when a trade is entered, it's looking for another full reset it's kind of forgetting this last reset. It's looking for another full reset before it can take another entry. Um, so if we turn it off, it may um, enter into more positions because if you were to enter short up here, for example, get stopped out and then the conditions are still met, you could, it would enter right into another position um, after that one. So um, if we did this, let's just say that there's an entry here on when let's see when it pulls back into the cloud let's just assume this was meeting the entry criteria and then it got stopped out so let's just say this was the setup got stopped out here and then it would just enter into another after getting stopped out and look for another opportunity if the criteria is still met so it's not going to wait for another full reset on stochastic rsi in other words um, hopefully that makes sense that's what this part is for and then the ability to enable long or short entries or both the entry type, whether it's market limit or stop entry, restricting entries to a certain date range, certain times of day. If the estimated commission is greater than an estimated profit, you can skip certain entries. You can do reverse entries as well. So same stuff as the last script and the other scripts that are available. Then we have the position exit setting. So stop loss strategy, um, which I did cover on that last one as well. So don't need to get too into detail here, but same stuff where you can set the stop loss based on a variety of factors, whether it be ATR, moving average of ATR, percent based, tick based, work based, reward multiplier or disabled, and then choosing those settings here. And then similar to the other one or same stuff as the other one there's the dynamic stop loss you can trail move the stop loss to break even based on the parameters you set and then we have the take profit strategy so risk multiplier is what it's set to but it can be an atr based moving average of atr percent based tick based or disabled and then coming down uh, more of the same stuff that we saw in the other script and the other scripts in the past um, different parts that uh, pretty much all of the scripts have. So dollar cost average at entry and then the activate custom order size setting section. So um, not a ton to cover here that's different than the other ones within the settings of this strategy script. So those are the two newest trade pro trading strategy scripts and um, what they're taking the entries based on. Um, we can get into a uh, example for a short here um, so, because I only covered the long entries. So we see this has pulled back into the cloud and we had the full reset on the stochastic K. Um, one thing to kind of keep in mind here 
with this one is you do need to double check the entries uh, manually because the way that this functions using PineScript, uh, sometimes the entries are seemingly a little off um, and it is kind of hard to tell PineScript to, you know, look for stochastic K resets and then tell it, you know, how to know which one to look for and where the resets are occurring. And then it's forgetting, um, you know, what the stochastic K had done in the past whenever a new entry is taken, if the settings are set here to require a full reset of the stochastic RSI after each entry. So just keep in mind that, you know, this may not have the perfect entries um, based on just the criteria, just because of the Pine scripts limitations, essentially. But that's kind of why I'm saying you want to manually check to just make sure that it's giving you an accurate entry based on the strategy. Um, so if we take a look here, we get a reset over bought stochastic K, over sold stochastic K, back to overbought, but this time lower high on price. So it's waiting for a pullback into the cloud gets that pullback here, entry on the close or opening of the next candle. And that is a short trade. So red cloud shorts, green cloud, we'll be looking for longs. Okay, so pretty simple for both these strategies. Hopefully it all makes sense. And um, again, check out the Patreon page if you're interested in getting access to these scripts, um, or if you're just interested in getting the weekly market reports or learning my personal strategy, you can get those on the lower tiers, um, but the strategy scripts, the 20 strategy scripts and the three custom indicators will only be available on the $20 tier. Um, so that's gonna cover it for the video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Thank you.